Hey guys, so we made it to our second destination on our Western Canada road trip. We drove from Sturgeon Bay Provincial Park for about seven hours until we arrived at Lake Superior Provincial Park. And wow, the scenery in this area is amazing. It is breathtaking. Um, I took a few clips while we were on our way here just to show you guys. Absolutely amazing scenery and the park itself is just as beautiful. We got out last night for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half fishing on one of the lakes. Oh, sorry, someone's driving by. <laughs> um, we got out for about an hour last night on one of the lakes and uh, didn't pick up any fish then, but we went back out this morning and had some luck. Um, we caught some splake. Unfortunately, it was pouring rain, super windy, we weren't able to bring the cameras out with us to film. We did snap a couple photos, which I'll show you. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna head back out this afternoon. It is a completely different day now. The sun is shining. It's still a little bit windy, but I'm hopeful that we can capture some of these fish on film to show you guys. So let's see what happens. It is windy. So what we were doing this morning was just dragging these jig head with a curly tail grub and we were paddling up against the wind and then drifting down like we are now and just hopping these along bottom or dragging them on bottom and the fish were picking them up. We caught a couple casting as well but when we started trolling we were picking up more fish i think we got about what eric like 12 maybe 13 fish yeah at least a dozen fish this morning so we're trying the same thing now and see what happens so i'm just casting it out away from the canoe letting out a bit of line and then just dragging along wind is pushing us along pretty good. There's one. <gasps> that was a big oh. one. That was a big one. Yeah. It was long. He hit like right when I was reeling up to the boat. I didn't set it very well. Dang. I did get a look at it. I just got hit unless that was you. Oh, it's still there. I think. Yeah. I'm on. Oh. Unless I'm dragging something. No, no, it's fighting, it's fighting. <laughs> Stop fighting for a second. I thought I was into a weed. What? Ah. 
<laughs> well, there's the odd perch in here. This is one of the bigger ones that we've seen. You're not a trout. Oh, there we go. Hold still, hold still. Mm, nice little perch. <laughs> so perch are non-native to these waters, so um, splake were introduced. And for anyone who's not aware, a splake is a hybrid between a lake trout and a brook trout. So these fish are stocked, they don't naturally reproduce, and the ministry puts splake in the lakes uh, to create fishing opportunities, so. Hopefully we can find some splake to show you. Pass me the net. Got it. Fighting good. Okay. The best fight fish I've caught all day. I see him. I haven't seen him yet. Oh yeah. Gorgeous. It's got amazing colors. Here, I'll let you unhook and you're just splashing over the camera. You want to pull off to the side? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll paddle us in. Okay. So we're right by the shore, so I'll paddle us in. Get a photo of your fish. It's a little easier than fighting the wind. Sure. To get a photo of Eric's fish. Kept him in the net because we don't have a live well. But check this gorgeous fish out. I'll try to get close to it. Oh, look at those spots. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, keep them wet. I'll grab the camera. Alrighty, Eric's gonna send his beautiful fish back. This Blake. Awesome fish. There it goes. Right on. What'd you catch that one on? Grubbing, grubbing worm. Right here. See? Sun. Perfect. Okay, let's get back out there. Mm -hmm. Actually, it works quite well. Jay, kill a black fly. Jay, kill another black fly. Something. Perch. Another perch. Oh. 
light guy. Not a trout. Whoa. Bottom. Yeah. So I just hit it too. Well, I guess that's it. I mean, it's shallow now. It's yeah. dark out. Gotta make our way back. Return the canoe. Get up early and hit the next spot. Well, that concludes the second stop of our cross Canada road trip. Although we caught most of our fish in the morning, in the rain, of course, when cameras weren't filming, we still had an amazing time at Lake Superior Provincial Park. And it is honestly one of the most beautiful parks that I've ever been to. As I said, this is a cross Canada road trip that we're on. If you haven't seen my first video, part one of this adventure, check it out. I'll post a link below. And I also wrote a story for Ontario Parks about fishing at Lake Superior Provincial Park, which I'll also link in the comments. Stay tuned for part three of this amazing adventure. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing the rest with you guys.